Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada counter boxes element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. The Avada counter boxes element is a useful element for showing off important numbers on your website. Maybe it's the number of jobs you have done or the number of satisfied customers you have. It's very versatile and can be used in many different scenarios. For this example, I'm going to add it to the Our Beers page on the Craft Beer Prebuilt. I've created a new container here and added a title, so now I'm ready to add the counter boxes element. This element is a parent and child element. As you can see, the initial content is just one counter box. Before we add more counter boxes, let's configure this element a bit. If I move over to the General tab, you can see with the first option that you can set the number of columns per row which will of course determine how wide the boxes are. So if I make this 2, the initial box will fill half the column. For my example, I think I will set this to 4. The next option is the counter box value font color. The default is color 5, but here I think I will change this to color 3. I can adjust the font size for the value under this, and I might make it a bit bigger, to 70. I can choose an icon next if I want, and if I do want to use icons, I can control their size after this with the counter box icon size. The options here though are general options that affect all counter boxes. So I can set the size for them here, but if I want unique icons for each counter box, I need to set the icons in the individual child items. So I will leave the icon unselected here, but set the icon size down to 36. The next option is counter box icon top. This controls the position of the icon. It's on the default here, which in this case is no, but I will set it to yes, so that it is on the top. The next option is the counter box body font color, and here I might change it to color 1. I'll also increase the size of the body font to 18. The counter box border color has a default of color 3, and here that suits me fine. The next option is the offset of animation. This is important with all animated elements as it controls when the animation starts. The default in this case is set to top of element hits bottom of viewport, which is fine. But the other options are top of element hits middle of viewport, and bottom of element enters viewport, so you have a lot of control here. Under this is a margin option which controls the margins of the element as a whole, and then finally is the usual element visibility option, which allows you to show or hide the element on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID options for further customization with custom CSS. But let's now go and look at the children tab where we can create and customize further counter boxes. I'll just edit the existing one first. Okay, so at the top we have counter value. This is the value the counter is going to count up to. I'm going to set this one to 14,500. For larger numbers like this, you can also use a delimiter digit. So I will add a comma here. The next option is a counter box unit and here I'm going to add the kilogram abbreviation. The next option controls the unit positions, and here I'm happy with the default of after counter. The next option is for the icon. Here I will head to the beer custom icon set and choose this leaf. The next option is counter direction. I want to count up to my counter value, but you can also set this to count down. The last option here is counter box text. So here I will add amount of hops used this year. Okay, there's my first counter box. Now if I return to the children tab, I can now add some more. In most situations, it's probably easiest to just clone the existing one and then edit them. I'll just clone this three times so that I have four across the row. And now I'll just edit the other three. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now I've edited my other three counter boxes and I've saved the page. Let's just look at this on the front end. The page loads and I'll just scroll down. And there's our counter box element. Nice. As you can see, this is a versatile element that can be used in many ways. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.